Hi everyone, I'm Renee from Bushel in a Basket. Today I'm going to make a black bean and corn salsa. You can use it for parties, you can use it to put on baked chicken. Um, it's a really simple recipe, few ingredients. I've already cut them all up for us, so make it easier to make. So, first of all, you're going to use one 15 ounce can of black beans. Now you need to drain these and rinse them so that you don't get that watery bean texture in there. So, so I'm going to put these in a bowl. You use a 15 or an 11 ounce can of kernel corn. We're going to use one teaspoon of minced jalapenos. Now on the jalapenos you can either do it with the seeds if you want it spicier or you can leave the seeds out if you like it a little less spicy. So my husband likes it spicy so we're going to leave the seeds in it. Next you're going to add two tomatoes and I cut the tomatoes up, uh, chopped them. You want to try to keep everything about the same um, size wise. So you try to cut everything so they're close to, you know, uniform with everything else. Next you use um, one half of a green or red pepper, either one. I like green because it adds a little bit more color since we have the red tomatoes. Next we use a third of a cup of chopped fresh cilantro. This is one of our favorite herbs. My husband and I cook with this herb a lot for all of our Mexican food dishes and some of our Thai food. So next we're gonna put a fourth of a cup of diced red onions. And then a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lime juice. After that, you're going to add a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Cumin is a Mexican spice, gives it a lot of flavor. You'll find it in a lot of this package seasoning if you use Mexican food seasoning for tacos or anything. So we're going to mix all this up. As you can see, it's got a lot of bright, vibrant colors in here. We take this to a lot of our block parties that we have with all of our friends. In fact, we'll probably be making this for our 4th of July party that we're going to be going to. So after this is all mixed up really well, you want to put it in the fridge and let it chill for about two hours so that the um, lime juice gets on into all of the vegetables and so does the salt and the cumin. You want it to really enhance those flavors of the fruits of the vegetables that you've placed in here. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge for two hours. When we get done we have to add um, some fresh avocado to this and I've got a little secret to keep the avocados from turning brown. Well, okay it's been about two hours so the salsa's been marinating in the refrigerator, getting all the lime juice in with all the, veg with the vegetables. Um, next we're gonna just add the avocado. We wanna keep it fresh and if it, you keep it in the refrigerator and marinate it, then it won't be as good. So I've cut the avocado in half and just diced it inside um, the outside shell of the avocado. So now we're just gonna scoop it out with our spoon do both halves here. And then we're going to mix all this up. Now the little secret I was going to tell you about is I know if you ever make fresh um, guacamole or when you're making this um, the tendency is for the avocados to turn brown. So the little secret is if you put the avocado seed into the dip or into your guacamole, um, that usually will tend to keep the avocados from turning brown. Don't know why, just that just happens. We've learned that along the way. So I kind of put the seed down in the bottom, bury it, make sure everyone knows that it's in there so somebody doesn't take a big chunk and bite into it. So got a few chips sitting out here. So. We're going to try the salsa and see what it tastes like. I'm 
It's got a really good flavor. Tastes like I could use a little more salt. And for me, it's perfect. If you like it hotter, you might want to add a little bit more jalapeno. Um, like I said, it only we only put a quarter in there. So, anyways, you guys might want to try this at your next party. Um, this is Renee at Bushel in a Basket. And visit us on our website at bushelinabasket.com.